Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rock and Reaction Rollers where we react to music that we grew up with from the 60s to the 90s and my name is Tammy. Um, this is only the second song but I think this is going to be the last one we're going to do for the night. My voice is giving me fits again. It's either allergies or I've, I don't know, I've just been battling this for a week now but um, anyway sometimes I get real loud and then I'm kind of soft so sorry if I, I don't want to scare anybody <laughs> but anyway this we're, this is going to be the final song for the night and we're going to go back to 1975 and oh gosh I didn't write down and this is a request for Gary and I absolutely love this song and we're going to try to do the Cheech and Chong version of it so I hope it doesn't block me but if it does I'll just redo the video um with one of the other ones but I want to try to get this one out here but anyway we're gonna go back to 1975 and we're gonna do the group called war and we're gonna do low rider so we're just gonna get right to it and again it's a request for Gary song for a minute. <laughs> I just love Cheech and Chong, um, but actually I might have said that wrong a while ago. War is actually the people that, the band that sings this song, um, but we're doing the video that has Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke um, movie for the video, or we're going to try it anyway. <clears throat> but I always thought this song for the longest time, I always thought ZZ Top did this song. Um, and then when I found out it was war, I'm like, really? You know, because I, I really did not know that for a really, really long time. And, um, and then again, at one point, I thought it was Santana doing it because it's got that, that Latin um, sound to it. But um, let's see what they had to say in a couple things here before we get back to it. Um, oh, I guess I'll just do my reaction to it. I, it's they're talking about his car and <laughs> I have a little small story that I'll say years ago I had a Trans Am and the shocks were so bad in this thing that I was going down the highway like this you know and that was that was my low rider well you know 1975 this song come out probably you know about eight or nine years before I had that car but I would always think of this song whenever um, I would think about my car so that's probably what I should have named it but anyway, a group of guys from a small town that I used to party in a lot were tired of meeting me on the highway and seeing me do this. So they all put money in and bought me some shocks and they bought a keg of beer and made a party out of it and put my shocks on my car for me. So that was awful nice of them. So if any of you are listening now, um, if I didn't say thank you before, <laughs> thank you. Uh, but it was quite a quite a trippy little car and just you know all down the road but they fixed me right up but we're just going to get back to the song we're doing this song for gary and we're doing the 1975 war tune called low rider <laughs>
this video goes through because I just love it. I just love Cheech and Chong and um, when they were blow when they were burning that big um, blunt there, I don't know if that's what you'd call it or not, but um, I don't remember what we called it back in the day. But if you have this album, I heard if you have the album there was supposedly one of those huge it was a monster rolling paper inside of that album cover. And if you kept the rolling paper in there, um, it's worth some money nowadays, that album cover with that rolling paper in there. So if you got a huge old box of albums somewhere, go through them and look and see if you got the uh, War Lowrider album. I'm not sure which one it's off of. Um, and then it might be with Cheech and Chong on it. I'm not sure. I don't, they didn't sing the song, so I'm, I assume it's... It's the war album, but anyway, I heard that not too long ago. I don't know how much money it's worth, but a lot of people probably took that thing out and used it, so <laughs> uh, that's probably why it's worth so many because so much is because um, there's not many of them that left the rolling paper in there, um, I doubt. But anyway, let's see what they have to say about the song. Okay, it reached number one on the Billboard R&B Singles Chart. Peaked at number seven on the Hot 100 Singles Chart and number six in Canada. And this band, War, was considered an American funk band. You know, I didn't realize that back in the day there were so many genres of music, you know. I remember in the 80s, 70s being called, you know, like Southern Rock or or uh, soft rock or whatever, but there's a lot of them I'm hearing that I didn't even know there was such a genre, like American funk band. I wouldn't have known that. Okay, and then it says about the lyrics, the lyrics take a laid-back, cool image of a low-rider vehicle. The Chicano culture of hot-riding classic cars, and in this song, it is used as an innuendo as he's not only talking about his low rider, the car, he's also talking about his lifestyle. <clears> that <throat> he's just a low rider. <laughs> oh. And this song was also the theme song to the TV series George Lopez, um, which was out from 2002 to 2007. And I remember watching that. My kids watched it a lot and so it would come on and of course love the song. I think that's when I found out that it was War that sang it instead of ZZ Top. And maybe ZZ Top has a version of it, I don't know, but I, it was the longest time before I found out that it wasn't ZZ Top and that it was War. We do have another song, War, on here. Um, so they've got a few good songs out there too. And uh, maybe we, I think we actually have a couple more um, requests for them. I see one anyway, so yeah. There's one or two out there, but there's three. So anyway, we're going to go for, I think, for the evening. I don't know. I might get a wild hair up here in a minute and and might decide to go on and put the third one out, but it is getting kind of late, and I've got a busy day tomorrow, and if I have to dodge this snowstorm, I have a feeling it's going to or be ice in the morning on when I'm on my way into work. I always have this fear of that because one time that happened to me and it took me 10 hours to get home and it usually takes about 50 minutes and it was the worst day of my life but made it home safely and I swore I'll never go through that again. So I like when the storms either come in overnight or before I get up to go out the door or you know it comes in later to where I know not to go in. So <clears throat> anyway Hopefully we just don't get it at all and we don't have to worry about it. I guess that's one way of thinking about it here. But, so, yeah, like I said, I, this will probably be the last one for the night. 
Come back tomorrow night. We're going to play a couple songs for Karen. Um, so uh, tomorrow night for a situation she's going to go through on Friday. And um, so this will make her feel better going in. And when she's coming out, then she'll have this to look forward to. So listen to some rock and roll. So anyway, be sure to tell those people that you love that you love them each and every day. Be sure to, sub to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thanks so much. And I'm glad everybody's here with me. And right now we're working on bands that begin with the letter W to Z. So if you have any requests, um, just send them on in. We're going to get to the end of Z. And then we'll finish the thing that I call the alphabet thing. So I don't know what we're going to do next. I still haven't pieced it all together. But trying to get there. And so um, when we get finished all the way through Z, we'll be doing something else. So if I don't see you yet tonight... Or if you don't see me yet tonight, then we'll be back on tomorrow night. So peace out.